Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome to Verbling. V for Verbling. Hi there, I'm Teacher Oakley. And for the next hour or so, we are going to practice our English by having a lovely conversation about gardening. Oh, traditionally, uh, in, in the United States, where I'm from, um, many people start the gardening season shortly after Easter, and uh, they start planting flowers and things like that. And uh, so, I wanted to talk to you guys today about plants and gardening in, in your respective cultures. So, uh, welcome to the class, Roger. Nice to see you. Hey, Roger. Hey, teacher. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Yeah. Uh, okay, and welcome, Gregory. Hi, Gregory. Hello. How are you today? Uh, hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. Hey. Nice to see you again. Likewise. And Giancarlo is with us. Hi, Giancarlo. Hello. Good evening from Mexico. Hi, how are you? Okay. <laughs> I'm good. As always, nice <laughs> to see you. Okay. Well, nice to see you too. <laughs> all right. We're, we're going to talk a little bit about plants and flowers and gardening and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, since it's in the northern hemisphere, uh, anyway, it's basically springtime, planting season. Uh, welcome, Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. Hi, teacher. I'm Hello. doing well, thank you. Very good. Uh, okay. Uh, let's get started. Roger. Hey, Roger. Um, Roger, are you above or below the equator? What season is it now where you live? Uh, teacher, actually, here in Colombia, we don't have uh, seasons. Yeah, you're right near the equator, right? Yeah, so, uh, for instance, here in Medellin, we have, uh, sometimes, uh, it is uh, the sun very, very hot, and at the afternoon is raining a lot, so the weather is right. crazy here. We don't uh, have okay. like uh, something stable or something right. like that. Okay, uh, I can relate. You know, I live in the Philippines now, and it's here. It's springtime in most of the northern hemisphere, but where I live, it's summer. This is the hottest part of the summer here, even though for most people it's spring. So I can relate to that. Uh, Roger, do you live in the middle of a city? Are you more on the outside of a city, or do you live in the countryside? Yeah, I live near to the, to the downtown, yeah, in the city. Okay. So you probably don't have room for an actual garden then. No, I was wondering, because you were talking about gardening like, uh, like something cultural in the spring. I, yeah. I didn't know, I didn't know about that, that culture or that hmm yeah in many in, in America uh, um, in in Great Britain uh, in uh, for my Russian friends but usually a little later in maybe a little maybe a month from now maybe it's a little early still uh, yeah it's a it's a, a big deal because obviously things don't grow in the winter obviously so many people like to plant uh, flowers or vegetables or things around this time of year. So yeah, it's it's very common to if you're driving around in the United States in the countryside, you would see people working uh, outside their house, maybe planting flowers or putting in a garden. How we say it in English, you put in a garden. So yeah, that's very normal. Okay. Uh, yeah, but uh, okay, Roger. You you live in the middle of a city. Do you have plants in your house? Uh, not inside my in my house, but 
here in I live in a like in a building. So mm -hmm. in the middle of the apartments, uh, when you go through the apartments, there are some some plants. They were not planted by me, but there are okay. people in that take care of of that. Okay. Are they decorative plants? Does anyone plant any vegetables? No fruit. No, just just what do you say? The decorative. Decorative, yes. Decorative okay. plants, yeah. Okay, decorative plants. Uh, usually, if they're out, well, if they're outside, oh, they're decorative plants. Or if they're inside, of course, we call them house plants in English. Okay, they, they stay in your house all the time, basically. Okay, all right, cool. Uh, l let me uh, ask somebody else. Gregory. Gregory, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay. I'm Gregory, uh, what's the season where you are? Is it spring now? Yes, it's spring. Okay. And do many people actually plant gardens or flowers, fruits, vegetables? Yes, our citizens were like uh, gardens. Uh, you know, in the small apartment, uh, it's very appreciated to have a little garden or big garden. Uh, but uh, not plants. Uh, yes, in grow up plants, not fruits. Uh, maybe lemons. Uh, uh, okay. As usual, it's decorative, not for uh, eating. Okay. Uh, all right. Say enjoy for a process. Okay. Or grow, grow up. Mm hmm. All right. Is this? Are you talking about outside? Outside your apartment? Uh, you know, some big house, and uh, around him, in the ground floor, uh, gardens right. belong uh, to to apartment. Oh, okay, I see. I see. People like that and uh, have a own house. It's luxury. Right. I, I understand that <laughs> in many places in the world. Right. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, so uh, who who does it? Who does the who puts in a garden? Is, is it done by workers for the apartment building? Is it people? Is it residents? of the apartment? Uh, half 50-50. Uh, Who likes to uh, work by themselves and uh, there is a lot of uh, these people say gardens by themselves and uh, or like uh, only garden without working uh, uh, hide uh, another workers. Hire. Okay. Alright. Those who like to work by themselves or work with their hands, they they can go ahead and plant some plants. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who uh, have time? For who the... have time? Yeah. Good point. Uh, yeah, gardening, at least for Americans, is for normal people is very much a weekend day off kind of thing. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, one more question. Do you have? Uh, well, let me explain. When I lived in the United States and I was living in a city for a while, they had a, this idea um, for what's called a cooperative garden, cooperate. And uh, all you really had to do is sign up. It was really city land, and you could go work the land. You could go plant vegetables, whatever you want. You could have a certain small space that is designated for you. I think there was a nominal fee, a very small, paid a little bit of money. Uh, and y you could actually grow vegetables. Uh, no. but I'm right. going to supermarket when I need vegetables. You're going okay. to supermarket. Okay. It's a better place for uh, uh, getting vegetables. <laughs> okay. But it was a great concept. Um, I, I thought that many people in the city, there's no place to grow plants, but they could grow... Most people grow veg vegetables, but some people just flowers or herbs or other things. 
You know, Oakley, I'm not built for uh, grow up uh, <laughs> plants, uh, but I have a big balcony in my apartment, uh, and uh -huh. uh, my wife uh, are planning to grow up some flowers ah, in nice. our balcony. Ah, uh, okay. That, that's most of our uh, ability. Okay. Does your wife have a green thumb? No, not yet, but we're planning. <laughs> okay. A green thumb is an idiom in English, meaning somebody who's, if someone has a green thumb, they're very good at plants. They're ah, very yes. good at growing plants. She she, she Talented. Does. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. I don't have a green thumb at all. Uh, okay. Uh, quick uh, welcome to the class, Sampoy. Hello. Hello, Oakley. Hi, Sonboy. Nice to have you back in the class. Hello, Julio. Always a pleasure. Hello, hello. hello. All right, and uh, hello, Tito. Hi, Tito. Hi, Oakley. How are you? Hi, Tito. I'm good. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. All right, I'll talk to you guys in just a second. We're we're talking about gardening. That's our topic today. Uh, Giancarlo, how about, how about yourself? Do you have any plants at your house? Giancarlo? Hello, can you hear me now? Yeah, there we go. Yes. Now I can. Okay, yes, we have, we have many plants. Most of my family love plants here in my house. I share a pla shade of plants. Flowers. I prefer, personally, I prefer to have shaded plants, and I consider that I have a green thumb because my mother taught me how to take care of plants and how to grow them. And my dream, Oakley, is is just to have a, a space, maybe a garden, where I could uh, grow vegetables. Uh -huh. In the dream, I, I, imagine, imagine that. Um, trying to grow your plants, cut them, and prepare a, a delicious salad after that. It's my dream. Mm -hmm. I like to, but I don't have the time right now to right. do that. <laughs> okay. What did you say you prefer? Yeah. What plants? I, I, I just didn't hear what you say. Shade plants or? Mm, I prefer okay. sh shade. Shade plants. Sh shade. Okay. Shade, like uh, out of the sun. Shade? S -H -A -D. Exactly. Oh. Inside plants. Shade. Oh, sh oh, inside plants. Okay. I, I'm not... Okay, let's talk about that. All right, a little miscommunication of vocabulary. Okay, for an English speaker, at least for an American, we inside plants, we, we call them house plants. Okay. But mm -hmm. we do have a, a, an expression with shade. We, we call trees outside shade trees. They're trees that are not necessarily fruit-bearing. Um, they're basically trees with a, a large canopy, which means lots of leaves covering the sun so that on a hot day you could enjoy some shade. Okay. So the, a canopy that the leaves are above your head so you can relax. You don't have leaves in your face or anything like that. But the canopy's high up and it, it protects from the sun. We call those shade trees. So I wasn't sure what you meant there. But okay, got it. Okay. Uh, Jonathan. Jonathan, are you there? Yes, teacher. All right. R remind me again, where do you live, Jonathan? I live in, in Houston. Houston, Texas? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, I am from Panama. <laughs> Panama originally. Okay. But yeah, here in yeah. Houston. What are you doing in Houston? Uh, visit to my own and take uh, some course of ESL. In okay. the morning, yeah, yeah. All right. I didn't think anybody wanted to volunteer to live in Houston. 
<laughs> is it is it getting hot in Houston now? Oh, very hot in, in this moment. Yeah. It's spring. Every day is sunny. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I, I I used to live in New Orleans, so I've been to Houston quite a few times. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I just I remember it's hot. Uh, so, uh, how about yourself? Do you have plants at your house? Uh, well, actually, I don't like the plant much, but my aunt have a, a lot of plants in her garden. Okay. She has a rose, and some flower, and some vegetable, and and that's great for her. <laughs> he, uh, she loves, she likes very, very the plant. All right, she she likes uh, plants very, very much. Yes, yeah, she likes to. Okay, and don't forget to pronounce the ends of word plants. Plants. Yeah, she, yeah, yeah. Um. Sure, but you're not a big fan. You're no, I'm not a big fan. For have you ever? I, I like other things. <laughs> okay, have you ever planted anything before in your life? Have you ever had a plant that you grew? Okay, in one time I I planted uh, some trees in 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 one part of my country. Uh -huh. In one in one activity of of the ecolize with some song song else. Okay. What kind of trees? Fruit trees? Uh, yeah, I think I don't remember what kind of tree teacher, but okay. Uh, it, it, the activity have forest to the to the park. I think that is uh, okay. for 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 vegetable. I think I don't remember. Okay. So you've never gone back to visit your tree? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. No? Okay. When I was very young, uh, I remember my sister and I planted a tree in my grandmother's yard. And it grew uh, in the middle of the yard. So, And it grew very, very, very tall. It was kind of oh. cool. Every time I went to my grandmother's house, and that's my tree right there. <laughs> anyway, this is a good experience. Yeah, it was kind of cool. It was a nice tree. So, turned out well. Okay. Uh, all right. Thanks for for sharing. And uh, thank you, teacher. Okay, uh, Julio. Do you have a green thumb, Julio? No, teacher. My thumb is uh, brown. Brown or black. And the rest of my body. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see. Okay. How about you? Have you ever planted anything before? No, I'm not uh, too much into gardening. Uh, I did bought a plant once. It was a carnivorous plant. Oh. What it's kind? Useful. Uh, what was it's, it? Uh, there, there are different carnivorous plants. Yeah, yeah. But it's the, the 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 one that you see uh, in the movies, like with a, uh, it has like a little like a little mouth. Ah, would that be a Venus flytrap? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I guess so. That sound right? Venus flytrap. Yeah. yeah. It it's has really like, really small. Like this. Like, it has like eye. It looks like eyelashes, right? Ah, uh, yeah, exactly, yeah. Like eyelashes, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah I know really that. It's really small, like 10 centimeters or something. And hmm. I kept it for a week, uh, waiting for the plant to actually catch an insect. Yeah. But it didn't. <laughs> so I went So I went and bought uh, some larvae. Okay. And I took one larva and put it into the, I don't know, the little mouth. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it, I, it, I, I had a hard time trying to, to let the plant uh, catch it, but at the end it got it. Okay. And, and um, I guess that the, the next day, the whole plant was black, and it died. 
Really? Just yeah. Hindi? Wow. Why, I wonder? Because... Yeah, I, I wanted to say, maybe the larva was too, too big. Uh, maybe the larva was poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it was a fraud. Yeah. What a strange thing. Okay, for those who don't know, our carnivorous plant is a plant that traps usually insects. There's some, I think, that can catch, like, small, small animals. But anyway, uh, in order to sort of feed itself, fertilize itself for, for food. Okay, so carnivorous plants. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, but you might, think that it's like, you might think that it's like a trap. Like, it closes the mouth immediately. Uh -huh. Well, no, it, it really does it very, very slowly. Uh-huh, right. So I wonder how does... Uh, how do these kind of plants actually trap insects in the real wilderness? So. Well, where I'm from in, in the States, actually in the swamps or bogs, we had a plant called a pitcher plant, and it looked like a pitcher. You pour water, and it, the fluid inside, it would catch just rain, but it would secrete something very sticky, I don't know, sugar, sugary, I, I'm not sure, but very sticky, and the insects would fly in, and the, they'd get caught in this sticky mess, and then as it slowly, very slowly drained out, whatever, they would have the insects, dead bodies, whatever. I don't know, it was <laughs> kind of cool, though. Uh Okay, but you're not much of a green thumb. Well, let, let's, let me talk to Sampoy. Sampoy! Sampoy, are you there? Oh, yes. Okay. I, I have a question for you. Do you think that women like gardening more than men? What's mm. your opinion? No, I, I think no? it's the same, it's different between people. Okay, all right. And so, how about you? Do you do you have any plants? Yeah, I have plants. I I usually have uh, carnivorous plants. Actually, I have Venus flytrap. You do? Yeah, and the pitcher plant. I also have one, and the oh, darling really? you do. Yeah, I know you're crazy about the carnivorous plant. Really? Okay. I, I don't. I am not quite a green thumb because uh, I can grow it around less than a year, and then it die. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe okay. I feed it with a lot of meat. <laughs> meat? <laughs> what do you <laughs> feed your carnivorous plants? That's the question. What Just do you my food. Insects? Your food? <laughs> your my own food? food? You have some chicken and you feed the plants some chicken? Yeah. <laughs> some house meat. I just love to say the Venus fly trap is close to the mouth. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Not not like your husband or anything like that. I, I don't have to <laughs> be concerned. <laughs> no, I just okay. like it because it's really different. Yeah. Different from other plants. Yeah, I I don't know. Maybe maybe they die after a year simply because they're um, oh annuals. Uh, an annual is a kind of plant that it it only lives for one year. That's that's just normal. Um, I don't know. I, I I don't really know, but perhaps. Um, <laughs> Because some plants, they won't, no matter what you do, they won't live after a year. That's, that's the limit. Oh, yeah. I see. At first, I thought my plant feel a little bit more when I feed it with meat. <laughs> it will get bigger. <laughs> the size of, uh, like, two meters tall. <laughs> no, it's just feed around it a, a palm. Okay. Not quite big. All oh, right, okay. Uh, do you grow, uh, some boy, uh, some boy, do you grow any vegetables or anything edible, fruit or anything? Herbs, maybe? Yeah, the cabbage. What? Cabbage. 
Ca- uh, the cabbage. cabbage. Cabbage? Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Cabbage. All right. <laughs> really? Growing cabbages. Okay. <laughs> you know, at some point my, my mother told me that that's where I come from. I, she found me in the cabbage patch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, um, okay, for if actually it's very common in English co-location to talk about a vegetable patch or a certain kind of vegetable, a turnip patch, a cabbage patch, a carrot patch, meaning an area where you grow vegetables in general or a specific kind of vegetable. So, yeah, okay. Cabbages, all right, great. Uh, Tito. Hi, Tito. Hi. Hi, okay. Hi. Tito, how, how about yourself? Do you ever, have you ever grown any plants? Uh, I think so. Uh, when I was a child, I tried, uh, I tried to plant, uh, to grow a plant. Uh-huh. Um, it, it just grow to uh, till 15 centimeters. <laughs> okay. What kind of plant do you know? Uh, I think it's uh, a fruit, fruit plant. Hmm. Okay. But I don't remember which fruit. All right. You don't remember. Okay. All right. Uh, were you? S- did you actually get fruit from the plant? Do you remember that? No, no. It's it's just uh, it uh, it grows uh, till fifteen centimeter old. Uh, or uh, 20 centimeters only, and then it died. <laughs> oh, then it died. Okay. Sounds... <coughs> yeah. Oh, I see. A, a sad story. Okay. Uh, do you have plants at your house? Have you ever had a garden? Or your parents or anything like that? No, uh, in my house, but beside the... My house, there's plants, decoration, decorative, or decoration. Yep. Decorative. Decorative. Decorative, decorative plants. Plant. Decorative is the adjective. Decoration yeah. is the noun. So. Okay. okay. Well, what are they? Are they flowers? Or? Yeah, some flower, some flowers, and some just only green green uh, plants. Mm-hmm. Okay. But it looks uh, it looks good, yeah. Looks good. <laughs> Very good. Personally, right now as we speak, and I have a seriously maybe ooh, let's see, maybe maybe three meters long, but only a half a meter wide a strip of earth, strip of land that's not concrete in front of my house near near the gate and I have I think four tomato plants and two pepper plants hot peppers growing and the peppers they're almost ready actually tomatoes and peppers I'm very excited yay <laughs> <laughs> great uh, okay what what we uh, how uh, what we call uh, the one who love plants um, okay in more informal, as an idiom, the person has a green thumb, okay, but uh, more formally, that's a very good question, by the way. Uh, hang on, I'm, I'm writing it now into the verbling chat. A person who uh, enjoys plants and works on plants is uh, uh, more formally uh, maybe even educated to know about growing plants is a horticulturist. Horticulture oh. is the study of uh, growing plants. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm not really much of a horticulturist, but uh, really, my plants outside, the peppers and the tomatoes, they started growing by themselves, I think, from, I don't know, garbage or whatever. <laughs> So, 
uh, okay, great. I just started weeding them and watering them, and I I staked them. I put uh, so the tomato plants will fall over. So you put a a piece of wood so they have something to lean on, kind of. So you stake your plants. There's many plants that you need to do that uh, as a as a verb. Okay, Julio, uh, feel better. I hope you feel better soon. So anyway, they grew there by themselves, and I'll soon be enjoying tomatoes and spicy, spicy peppers. Uh, we talked to Claudio. Sorry I didn't say hello earlier. Hi, Claudio. No, no problem. No, okay, how are you? I'm doing great. Hi. Good. I'm doing great as well. Nice to see you. So, uh, Claudio, we're talking about plants and gardening and such. Uh, how about yourself? Are you, have you ever done any gardening? Oh, I don't know anything about gardening, but I can say that I like to see beautiful gardenings around the city. And I just have a, a tree here in my home, and a small tree in a basket. Okay. Inside of a basket that I take care of a lot as an animal. I <laughs> I usually say that it is my pet. <laughs> oh, okay. What kind of tree? Do you know in in English what it is? No, oh, I don't know the name in, in English, but here in Brazil we call we call it it's like a tree of happiness. Happiness. Oh, well, that's a lovely name. <laughs> the, and the, the the curious is that they have the family and the male, and you have to put one inside the same basket. It's a nice tree. Really? Okay. Very common here in Rio de Janeiro. Oh, that's neat. Hmm. I now I'm very curious. The the tree of happiness, huh? Tree of happiness, is that right? Yes, tree of happiness. All right. Like in Portuguese, it would be árvore da felicidade. Felicidade. Yeah, I, I even know that word. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll have to check that out. I wonder what that is. All right, that's cool. All right, uh, have you, you? You've got your one tree, the one tree. Hmm. Uh, you, you mentioned you like gardens. Is there any particular type of garden you find intriguing, like a Japanese rock garden or a classic well-ordered English garden or maybe even uh, a maze or hedges which people carve into shapes, you know, uh, little bushes that people prune or cut into shapes. Any kind of garden you particularly like? Oh yes, Japanese gardens. I mm -hmm. I already saw uh, some kind of Japanese gardens, not exactly uh, in Japan, but in mm -hmm. other cities. <laughs> and I think that is a beautiful garden. And I like to this kind of garden that you mentioned, and, and with bushes, with the bushes pre prepared, like a with a right. different cut. And uh, right. here in Rio de Janeiro, we have a uh, beautiful place called Praça Paris. Fortunately, it's a kind of place which is a little bit dangerous, but there is a uh, beautiful garden with okay. this kind of bushes too and a great right. illumination. I like to, but uh, as I said, I, I don't know anything about gardening. Gardening. Okay. All right. Have you have you ever seen a bonsai tree? Do you know what that is, Claudio? Oh yes, I know. I know. It's nice. I already had a uh, bonsai, but here in Brazil we have some kind of uh, no good man which which just cut in a, <laughs> in a part of the big. And the big tree, and they sell like a uh, bonsai. Oh, fake. <laughs> Not original bonsai, a fake bonsai. Oh, yes. oh right. Okay. Yeah. It's Here in the Philippines, too. they're cool, and they they take a lot of work. Actually, they it's a it's a common hobby here in the Philippines, and people have to tie them up to get them 
to grow into a certain shape that they want them to grow into. Bonsai trees are originally Japanese, I guess, Japanese idea, and they're very small trees. They look like miniature big trees. <laughs> they're yeah. small. And yeah. basically, they're sculpted or shaped um, using stakes and wire and string to get them to grow a certain way. Eh, kind of cool. Uh, Roger, we're going to go back to Roger here. Roger, yeah. what, what is the coolest garden you've ever seen? Um, or the most amazing plant, or the uh, coolest tree? What's, what's the, the most impressive I, gardening you've ever seen? I don't remember well the names of the plants, but I remember that... It was like two years ago. I went to uh, a botanic garden. Oh, I don't nice. know. Botanical garden is near Very from. Well, Medellin is not so big, so it's like uh, 30 minutes from my home. And yeah, there are plenty of plants there, um, beautiful ones. And there is, uh, yeah, a lot of uh, space we. A lot of green space, mm -hmm. so I think that is a wonderful place to go. I should go more often. Is that but right in? Is, yeah. Sorry. Is is that right in your city? Yeah, yeah, it's right in oh, my nice. city, and it's not it's not far from here. And there are some other places very interesting uh, near from the botanical garden. So uh, it's something that you can do. You don't know, in a weekend, it's a good plan to go with family. Ah, okay. But it's very nice. I'm going to look for some pictures maybe to share. Okay, that would be cool. Uh, yeah, I really enjoy going to botanical gardens as well. It's very interesting because, of course, n not only are there beautiful plants, but part of the reason you, you have a bo botanical garden is for education purposes, right? And uh, so you have a great diversity of plants. You see plants you've never seen before or even imagined. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Thanks, Roger. Uh, very good. Okay. Uh, Gregory, how about you? What's the most amazing garden or uh, plant you've ever seen? You know... We have in Israel a lot of uh, tropical bizarre plants, uh, but uh, about garden, it's a uh, Baha'i garden in uh, Haifa and uh, near to me in Akko, near to Akko. It's very strange place, a uh, very beautiful place. Uh, it's uh, connected to religion of Baha'i and uh, uh, they mind themselves uh, with nature and uh, make beauty, beautiful garden. One of them on the mountain, I found the mountain, and it's uh, go, it's uh, go to up. Okay, you you go up. Yes, it, garden garden, garden yeah. goes up on okay. the mountain. Oh right, okay. Beautiful uh. and interesting place. Okay. That, well, that is that is interesting. Could, what's the name again? Baha'i. Baha'i Baha is name of religion, and they uh, very little religion, not famous. Uh, okay. Uh, they have mix from uh, uh, Muslim Christianity, Judaism at all. They mix and uh, make their own religion. Wow! Really. Okay, I've yeah. never heard of that before. Very interesting. And are the gardens called Baha'i Gardens? Yeah. Okay, I just... How do I spell that? B-A-H? I don't know. You don't know? It's, okay. it's right, not okay. mine. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> no problem. It sounds very interesting, though. Ah, okay. Thank you, Atla. Excellent. Thank you very much, and come join us. Okay, 
Very good. Uh, I think I got the spelling over here in the verbling chat. Thank you. Wicked cool. I, I really want to check that out. Thank you, Gregory. That sounds very interesting. Cool. You're welcome. Okay. Um, Giancarlo. Giancarlo, are you there? Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, I'm here. Okay. Uh, Hello, Giancarlo. I'm here. Hi. So am I. Ah. What is the coolest garden you've ever seen? Your most amazing <laughs> feat of gardening or the most amazing plant, perhaps, that you've ever seen? Hmm. There are different places here in Mexico uh, mm -hmm. because we have a very good and extraordinary vegetation here. There is a place that is called Cuernavaca. It's uh, very humid and it's very hot. It is two hours from Mexico away. And there are many, many different plants and gardens there. Uh, there are some trees. Uh, they are called jacarandas and tule tree. The tule tree is a tree, a very big tree in Oaxaca, in the Oaxaca state. Okay. It is a very, very old tree. And many, maybe imagine that 30 people has to round all the three. I mean, uh, the tree is so big that 30 people must round the tree. Okay. Handy hands. Ho yeah. Holding hands. Okay, so it would take 30 holding people. Hands. It would take 30 people to surround the tree, all all holding hands. Okay, uh, that's a big tree. That's the point. Yeah. That's a big one. Yeah. Yeah. I've been to the Redwood Forest in California. Very cool. Uh, I don't know. Very cool. It's, it's really neat because you, if, I, it, maybe, tell me if you felt the same thing. When I went to the Redwood Forest, I felt like, I felt like I was tiny. I felt like a dinosaur was going to swallow me any second because... <laughs> I felt like I was just a <laughs> tiny creature. I was. I really felt like ancient and uh, I, I don't know, you know, prehistoric kind of dinosaur land. Also, in the redwood forest, there's these. They're called banana slugs. They're like a snail, but they're huge. They're like this big. So I'm used to a snail, you know, being the size of my thumb, maybe. But these things are like this big. They're the size of a banana, and they're bright orange, bright yellow. I mean, so you see insects that are enormous and trees that are enormous. I felt like I was shrinking or something. <laughs> really, yeah. it was kind of cool, but really impressive. Yeah, big old trees are impressive. I think. Do you, do you know how old the tree the tree is or the trees are? Well, some Any people idea? some people says that uh, some people said that the tree is like maybe 1400 400 years old. Wow. Because if you look at the pictures, it is immense, really really immense. Okay. And the, the story of the trees is very interesting. I, I'll, I'll try to I'll try to to post some pics here. Okay, that would be cool. That would be great. Uh, and actually, looking at some of the pictures that Roger posted, nice flowers. Nice flowers. You know, I really like orchids. Those are so cool. Okay. Uh, okay, here they are in the Google in the Google chat. Okay, in the Google chat, Giancarlo is just in the Google chat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The tool. Okay, the tool. Ah, huh. interesting. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, thanks, Giancarlo, for sharing that. Oh yeah, that's a big fat tree. Yeah. <laughs> My God. Yeah. 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 That, 
That's a heavy tree. Oh, boy. Interesting. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Thanks. Uh, all right. Uh, Sampoy. Talk to me. What is the coolest garden, uh, most amazing plant you've ever seen? Or one or the other, or both. Hmm. Garden. Uh... There is a royal botanical garden in Thailand, ah. and it's really big. You can just walk and feel a little bit Thai to walk it all the day. It's really big, um, and there's a lot of flower and trees from different countries, different kind of garden. So I. So you can see maybe the bonsai gardens, uh, Japanese gardens, or American gardens uh -huh. in, in that area. So it's, it's really beautiful. But for the plant that I like the most, and it looks like mysterious, maybe mushroom. I <laughs> what? <laughs> mushroom. I'm not sure if it's a plant or not. Mushroom? Well, technically it's a fungus, but yeah, oh, I, yeah, I think it's, a fungus is a type of plant, so yes, yes it is. Yes, I, re I remember I bought a, um, a mushroom container that there's some nutrient for mushroom to grow, and then I grow it to harvest the mushroom. I just okay. need to spray water every day and then I can pick the mushroom and eat. It's some kind of oyster mushroom. Oyster mushrooms. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was waiting for that uh, at some point. I was waiting to see if they were the kind of mushrooms that make you go... Because, <laughs> uh, you know, there are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mushrooms. Oh, that's a very interesting, uh, very interesting thing. Um, because many, many places in the world you can find edible mushrooms, and really delicious edible mushrooms. Oyster mushrooms are good. Uh, yeah, chanterelles and uh, oh, those orange ones. Yeah, I, I really like wild mushrooms. I, I was a chef for many years, and I actually I had this guy, this crazy mountain man, who would go pick wild mushrooms for me once a week. Wow. And Yeah. So I got to cook some really awesome wild mushrooms. Really cool. So I got to know uh, quite a bit about mushrooms, actually, because I had to figure out if they were poisonous or hallucinogenic. <laughs> You know, I had to make sure they were safe. Uh, I have heard about the Thai, the botanical gardens in Thailand, uh, actually, from others who have visited there. They're, they're quite famous. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard before. They're quite impressive. All right. Uh, very good. Oh, okay. Uh, Tito. Hello. Hello. How about you? What? What uh, famous garden or uh, um, impressive particular plant or tree? What can you tell us about? Uh, I tried to get you a photo. Uh, uh -huh. It's the garden uh, in our tail uh, uh, near the pyramids. It's a very good garden. Okay. Uh, Near the pyramids, really? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's look. Uh, when when you were in it, uh, in it you look to the pyramids and it's a great view uh, from the hotel. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. Stupid question, but how how do they? Oh, okay. Do is, are they irrigated? Then they take water, maybe. From the river to to irrigate these gardens. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay. All right. And 
is it like a park you can walk through? Uh, can walk uh, around it, in the garden. You can walk around, but uh, if you if you are in the hotel or you have a reservation on the hotel, uh huh, you can do it. Ah, okay, I see. Oh, so are they part of the hotel? Yeah, it's a part of the hotel. Oh, I see. I get it now. Oh, I see. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, uh, Tito, have you ever been to a, a really big farm where they grow uh, plants? Yep. Yeah. And I like, I like the view. I like uh, uh, the big farm. Yeah. Okay. You should go to Nebraska. You <laughs> in the United States, the state of Nebraska, I swear, you can drive for eight hours and this is what you see. Just no mountains, no water, just corn, 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 corn. <laughs> just keep driving. More corn. Oh, oh, look, a house. And then corn, 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 corn. Like never ending. It's amazing. Really, oh, great. great. No, actually, it's extremely boring. <laughs> it's, uh, if you, it's easy yeah, to. And green, green view. I think it's uh, very good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay. All right. Well, uh, thanks, Tito. Uh, all right, Claudio. How about yourself? What is the most amazing, impressive garden you've ever seen, or place, or plant? Oh, uh, I, I, oh, let me think one second. Oh yes, I uh, saw some beautiful gardens, but the most impressive is hearing my tongue. <laughs> okay. It will be a little bit. I will got the chance to my town, but here in Brazil we have a uh, botanic botanic garden, okay. and it seems to me wonderful because there are a lot of uh, trees which reminds to our imperial moment, imperial time. I don't know how to say, hmm. it. and it is good because. There is the first international garden of oh, Brazil. <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. I, uh, when I think of Brazil, I think there's a lot of fruit trees. Is that right? Are, th are there many fruit trees? Yes, fruit trees. We have a lot of. We have a lot of fruit trees for this reason. And fortunately, Brazil has a lot of problems, but about uh, trees and gardens, we are fortunate. We, we have a mm. lot of kinds of gardens and tree, trees, yeah. so it's difficult some Brazilian to become impressed with an uh, un unnatural garden, because our natural garden here, is, <laughs> we have a lot of Just natural gardens outside here yeah. with... Uh, with uh, wonderful fruit trees and with uh, completely different of kind of fruit trees and there are a lot of uh, natural, it's not a planted garden. Right. It's amazing. I, I, I can relate to that. I, in the Philippines it's very much like that. There are, it's, I don't know, growing up in America, there there are fruit trees, but they're always planted by someone. They're not, they're very seldom natural, although berries are natural, but, the berry bushes, but in the Philippines, there's, like you said, just natural trees and everywhere, mangoes and coconuts and bananas and just anywhere and everywhere in in the mountains or even in the middle of a city, there can be you know, various fruit trees as you walk down a city street. Oh, mango tree, oh, guava tree. Oh. Uh, yeah, here happens the same. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, at, uh, these days have happened less in the big cities. 
but in the middle and small cities here in Brazil, you can see fruit uh, trees in the middle of the city, mango right. trees in the middle of the city. And here in Rio de Janeiro, we have a lot of coconuts, <laughs> plants of coconuts yeah. in the middle of the the, the beach. Oh it's yeah. Nice Sure but you have to be careful to don't rest above, oh. below the oh, coconut yeah. tree. Right. <laughs> you get hit in the head with a coconut. <laughs> yeah, no one likes that. Yeah, that's funny. Okay, uh, I'm curious. Um, one of my favorite kinds of gardens, because it's interactive, uh, is a um, maze garden. You guys, if you know what a maze is, uh, no. Okay, uh, a maze is like uh, well, Theseus and the Minotaur. Uh, a maze. Oh, you go left, you go right. Oops, wrong way. Go back. Okay, left, uh, right. You have to find your way out. All right, because. The plants in a maze garden, it could be shrubs or bushes, um, could be other plants, but you, you can't really go through the plants, so you have to follow a path, and you have to figure out left, right, oh, where am I, oh my gosh, and you get lost in the maze, it's really cool. In the United States, I, I don't know if it's still popular, but it was popular for a while, to have corn mazes in giant, enormous cornfields, and you have to find your way from point A to point B, and you have to do it by going through a maze, and it would take you two or three hours or four hours to find the way, the path through the maze. It was really amazing. <laughs> it was really fun. And the coolest one I ever saw was one uh, made from sunflowers. Sunflowers are the—they're very tall with a very big, bright yellow, sometimes red, but usually bright yellow flower. And they planted them. And they made a maze from sunflowers. It was really, um, really cool. Really, really cool. Really fun. Uh, anybody has anybody ever been in a in a, a maze garden? No? Go plant one. It's fun. <laughs> oh, you, sh you should try it out. It's really kind of cool. But uh, anyway, it was a fad for the while in the United States, and they uh, people could make money. They charge $10 to go in the maze and be entertained for two, three, four hours. So good fun. Uh, okay. Um, guys, we're just about out of time. Thank you so much for joining the conversation. I've got to go because I've got to start another class here on Verblink. So uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Uh, thank, thank you, teacher. Yeah, thank yeah. you, teacher. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Okay. Bye. See you. Soon. See you.